Welcome back to Real Estate for Noobs, the show where I teach you things that took me almost a decade to learn in Manhattan real estate in about five minutes. My name is Derek, partner of the Manhattan real estate development firm YD Development, and today we're going to learn how to increase your property valuation by boosting your NOI. Previously, we went over the relationship between NOI, cap rate, and property valuation by using a pipe and water tank analogy. Let's recap. A property generates revenue streams, but there are associated costs called operating expenses. What's left flows through to you, the owner, and is called NOI. When you buy a stable property, it comes with the ability to generate predictable NOI. That NOI is a small percentage of the price you pay for the property, and the percentage rate is called the cap rate. So let's say you bought a property for $1 million and it generated 50000 in NOI, or a 5 cap. You could be perfectly happy with that, and you could just keep operating it as is. In industry lingo, this is called a core asset, one that needs minimal work and can be held and maintained as is to generate stable and predictable cash flow. Using our analogy, there's nothing wrong with this water tank or pipe, so we're not going to do any plumbing work. But a lot of professional real estate developers like to find deals that have room for additional value, or what the industry calls core plus for light improvements, and value add for large improvements, usually construction that requires a work permit. These deals literally and figuratively need plumbing work. The goal in these types of deals is to increase your NOI. So if we go back to our P&L, there's ways to do that on every line item. We can raise the rents, add things that generate income, like laundry machines, or rentable common areas, or concierge services, or Wi-Fi. Find less expensive ways to maintain the property, but not without sacrificing the quality, because you'll always pay for cheaping out down the line. Use sustainable tech to lower the utility bills. You can switch to all electric, LED lights only, add solar panels, improve the building insulation, install a more efficient HVAC system, or install a tankless water heater. You can even grieve your taxes with the local government. In New York City, there are also tax abatement programs. For certain types of improvements, you can get a better rate on your insurance too, because some improvements lower the liability risk of your building. All of these items will increase the amount of NOI flowing through your P&L pipe. So when you've established that your property generates more money than before, you've naturally earned a higher property valuation. But here's where things get super complicated real fast. These improvements usually cost money. And you have to make sure you invest in these improvements in a way that generates more property value than the amount you invested. So you want to use the cap rate as your benchmark. Don't invest in anything that returns less than the cap rate. You'll have spent more money than the market is willing to pay for these things because your improvements won't be valued separately from the rest of your property. For example, Maybe you switch the boilers for tankless water heaters, and it costs 50000 but lowers your utility bill by 1500 a year. That's only a 3% return, which is lower than the 5% cap rate you may have paid. So you just drag down your average returns. No bueno. Instead, let's say you add laundry in unit for 10000 and tenants are now willing to pay 2000 more in rent per year, which mostly trickles straight down to the NOI. Assuming a 5 cap, You've just created 40,000 in value. If you're curious how I arrived at that, you take the incremental NOI you generated, the 2,000 in this case, and you divide it by 5%. That gets you 40,000. To make things even more complicated, how fast you spend the money on the improvements affects your returns as well. This concept is encapsulated in the internal rate of return, or IRR, and we're going to cover that in the next video. So hit like and subscribe because I have no idea how many of these videos I'm going to be doing, but we're going to be covering a lot of topics.